Good evening, sir. We are group two. Our today's topic is lexical analyzer example. So, question number one. Here we have to find the total number of tokens. Now, tokens can be identifier, constants, assignment, operators, variable, etc. A stream of characters close between a pair of double quotes is considered as a single token. Now, in the very first line, int main, first bracket close and um, open. So, here are four tokens. In the second line, there are only one tokens. In the third line, x equal to y plus z and semicolon. So, total here are six tokens. In the fourth line, int x uh, y z semicolon. So, here are the total seven tokens. How? So here are total 4 plus 1 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 26 tokens in this question. So, thank you. That's all from my end. Now, the next part will be continued by my friend. So, the question is, the lexical analysis of a modern computer language such as Java is the power of which one of the following machine models the necessary and sufficient sets. So we have four options, financial automata, deterministic position automata, non-deterministic position automata, and Turing machine. So let's eliminate the options one by one. So coming to options B and C, that is deterministic position automata and non-deterministic position automata. This would clearly not be the answer as, as pushdown automata is accepted by context-free grammar, which is used in syntax analyzer step. And as we are dealing with lexical analysis, we can eliminate these options. So coming to option D, that is Turing machine, since compilers are implemented on a physical stream system and we can design a Turing machine that can map the high level language strings into assembly level code. So Turing machine has the power to implement the entire compiler itself. Although this will work, but this is more than adequate. So last time we come to option A, which is finite state automata. The lexical analysis uses the regular expression as pattern for identifying tokens. So as finite state automata accepts regular expression, so clearly option A will be the correct answer. That's all from my end. Yes, yes, you are audible. Please carry on. Uh, the question is, the which of the following character can be recognized as a token without depending on the next symbol? So, here are four options, equals to, plus, uh, less than, or none of this. So, uh, let's check uh, each option one by one. For option A, if there is equals to, there is a possibility that uh, there is another equals to, uh, which is an unary operator. Uh, for option B, the plus, uh, there is a plus so there is a possibility of uh, after that plus there is also one other plus which can be a uh, assignment operator or the increment operator and uh, another uh, way it is uh, so uh, for option c there is a less than symbol so there is a possibility that there can be a less than equals to symbol or less than double less than that is a left shift operator so all of these three uh, can be cannot be uh, determined as one token as a single token without looking at the next token the next symbol so that's why uh, the option d is the correct answer which is uh, none of this that's all for my end now next part good evening sir myself samrat and i'll be explaining you question number four so the question says what are the total number of tokens given in the following snippet and there are four options which are a 33 b 10 c 36 and d 25 so moving on to the next slide uh, we can see that uh, there is a space in between the words int and cat so it doesn't make any sense to give a space there but lexical analysis doesn't check for any sense it checks for the number of tokens present there or not so lexical analyzer removes the comment line and if there is a space between a data type it is considered as two tokens so, as we can see that uh, in the fourth line, int has got a space in between, so it will be considered as two tokens. So, keeping that in mind, we have four tokens in the first line, five tokens in the second line, five tokens in the third line also. The last three lines contain six tokens and finally one token, which comes a total of 33, which is option number A. So, that's all from my end. Final part will be continued by Sarvatham. Thank you, Shomir. So, our next question is, in a compiler, keywords of a language are recognized during which phase? Our options are during parsing of the program, during the code generation, during the lexical analysis of the program, or during the data flow analysis. 
Option A is incorrect as parsing is done during syntax analysis where tokens are taken as an input. Keyword being a token should be recognized before that. Option B is also incorrect as optimized code is taken as an input and assembly level code is generated in this phase. Keywords have to be recognized way before that. Option D is also incorrect as data flow analysis is done during code optimization during program flow graph. So it never recognizes the token, rather it analyzes the flow control of the program. Option C is the correct option as DFA is used to recognize the keyword during lexical analysis phase. So that is all from us. Uh, these are our references. Thank you, sir. Very good presentation.